Hello and welcome back. Hey, how are you? How's it going? I am so freaking exhausted right now, you guys. Um, I did do a morning shift today. I was actually covering someone's shift and it was kind of slow. You know, it was one of those days. Then after work, went straight to Ontario and kind of spent the day out there. Visited my grandma for a little bit because my dad had to help her out with the phone that he gave her. So went down there. And then while we were out there, we also went to get something to eat. And then we just got home right now. So basically, I am exhausted because I guess I didn't give myself the chance to kind of get home and rest like I usually do. So yeah, I'm a little exhausted right now. My mind is kind of like all over the place. My body feels like I just ran a freaking marathon and it just wants to relax. So for today's video, I thought I would kind of do a little relaxation kind of thing, relax with me kind of thing. Like a little self-care kind of video, I guess we'll say. So first things first, um, I think I am gonna go ahead and give myself a body shower because like I said, my body just feels incredibly exhausted right now and um, I feel like washing it would just really really help out so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do a face mask and um catch up on some reading as you guys know i bought fair warning and all i gotta say is i've been loving the book so far so i'm gonna catch up on my reading with that to do my couple of chapters today and uh yeah we'll see what else pops up then okay so i'm gonna put this hair in a bun Wow, that actually wasn't that difficult. It wasn't that difficult. Wow. I recently switched um, shampoos and I gotta say, it's been making a difference on my hair and it's only been a few days that I've been using it. So, wow, I'm excited about that. Literally, I think I will be able to start putting my hair in a bun during the day, like without any issues. I'm shocked. Okay, so body shower is complete and I gotta say it did help a little bit. I am feeling a little better. So now I'm gonna do a face mask and I actually bought two face masks from Target. I have this Bath & Beauty cleansing aloe vera face mask and then I have this relaxing lavender mud mask. Since I am trying to kind of take that time to relax and just have some me time. I decided to go in with the relaxing mud mask. So let's go ahead and get that going. I'm trying to move it down here so I can open it up and not have anything spill. Oh, okay. I thought I had a sneeze. Guess not. So this mask is a basically a relaxing mud mask to de-stress and to kind of pamper myself, pamper my skin. So it has lavender oil, seaweed extract, and dead sea mud powder. That one doesn't sound too great, but I mean, I guess it's a good thing. So I don't have like a face mask brush. So we're just gonna do this by hand. It looks like cream cheese. Do you guys see that? Literally looks like cream cheese. Okay, so I got it. Guess I'm just gonna stamp it on now, I don't know. Okay, just... No hair, you do not need to be a part of it. Again, no hair. You're not gonna be a part of the face mask. Oh. 
Ta-da! Oh, look at that. I made a little mess. Oops. So, I'm supposed to leave this on for 15 minutes and then rinse it with warm water. So, while I'm waiting, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. So, the next thing I want to do is drink some iced coffee. So, let's go get that, shall we? Oh shoot, I didn't even check the time. Oh frick. Well, I guess I need to um, kind of guesstimate. <laughs> it's uh, 7.40 now. So it's been like, what, five minutes? We'll say five minutes. So I will set another timer. Well, not another. I'll set a timer for 10 more minutes. And then we'll go from there. So. While that timer is going down, do a little bit of reading. So, I am hooked on this book, guys. You guys have no idea. I am on, what chapter? I am on chapter four. And, oh my god, so much is going on. Basically, we got our reporter guy, Jack McAvoy. And he basically reports stories on like criminals and things like that. So this woman that he had a one night stand with apparently got murdered in a brutal way. And so investigators found him and basically they're investigating the whole thing and they knew that Jack and the chick, her name is Tina, well her actual name is Christina but she goes by Tina, basically they had a little, you know, thing going on so investigators have asked him questions and kind of asked him how he knew Tina, where his whereabouts were on such day, yada yada yada, basically trying to get information from Jack and that's kind of where I left off, so continuing on. Ooh. Oh no, she didn't. But yes, he did. Well, time's up. Now to rinse this off. Oh yes, my face definitely feels clean right now. <laughs> Legit guys, I really, really want to start getting into like skincare and all of that and I really want to act on that now that I have like the motivation to do it because I know that once the motivation is gone it's gonna be gone for a while so I kind of want to get going on that so right now I'm kind of just looking online for like some like, I don't know, skincare sets or something. I don't know. But at the same time, I have no freaking idea what I'm even looking at. Because I know people use like toners and like all these face serums and face oils. And I'm just like, 
over here, you know, using only a cleanser and a moisturizer, like, I don't know anything beyond that. So I'm like kind of stuck and just trying to research all that stuff before I get my face on it, you know? But I mean, I want to start that whole skincare thing. I want to start taking care of my skin. Alrighty, so I think I'm going to go ahead and finish up my reading. I'm going to finish up these chapters. So I'll see you guys when I'm done with those chapters. Okay, so I just finished my two chapters of Fair Warning. And my freaking heart, guys. I am just feeling this book right now. It's just so sad sad man it's so freaking sad basically last chapter that i read ended with jack finding tina's mom and meeting up with her to kind of talk about tina and about the death and try to get information to kind of help with his story on the whole like cyber stalking thing because i guess tina was stalked and so they think that the person who was stalking her was the one who kind of did the deed you know so it was just really really sad and i want to read more but put myself to two chapters a day so continue that tomorrow <laughs> but my freaking heart my freaking heart man i can't as you guys can see this whole reading journey is kind of starting off pretty good um i think i picked a good first book to start reading and I'm glad you know this is this is fun <laughs> oh my goodness that coffee was bad when I don't take a trip to Starbucks I will still drink Starbucks but those like Starbucks coffee things that like Walmart or Target has and I get mine as cafe mocha flavor because your girl loves the mocha so recently i have been trying to get in the habit of journaling and kind of just recapping how my day was going how i was feeling mentally and emotionally just because i'm gonna be 20 in like less than a week and i have no like good self-care habits going on so i just really really want to make a change i want to better myself you know and I feel like this is kind of a great way to do that I have done this like on and off a few times but I really really want to keep it consistent so I have kind of been going at it this is kind of like my journal kind of like where I jot down my ideas for like YouTube or for my life and it's just kind of like an all-in-one kind of thing I even made a sticky like if someone tries to snoop, I have a little note that says, do not read beyond this point. <laughs> I mean, I don't think anybody would listen to that note, but this kind of makes me feel like it's a legit thing. <laughs> so, for tonight, well, give me a second. It kind of takes a little while for me to get into like the writing mood. And also with trying to you know journal how my day's been going how i've been feeling mentally i have also been wanting to add in like positive affirmations for myself and basically i'll think of like one or two and kind of jot them down as the days go on so for now i have like five of them that are kind of getting jotted down they basically say I am capable of achieving all I want in life. I am here on earth for a purpose. I strongly believe that one. I believe we are all here for a purpose. I deserve to live a happy life. I am proud of myself and my accomplishments. And I am special and unique. So for today's positive affirmation, I'm going to say I am happy to be exactly who I am. So now, on to today's journal entry. So it is Tuesday the 15th.
Not even gonna lie guys, that actually added so much more of like good vibes to my night. I think these new habits are definitely gonna do me some good. So I'm really excited about that. I don't know why I crossed my fingers, but actually crossing my fingers that I can keep up these habits and you know not let them go because like I said they do make me feel good and they make me feel excited at the same time they make me feel like I am growing and I mean yay because that's initially the plan here is to grow and better myself and these things are definitely doing the job. Alrighty, so I think that is going to conclude my night and conclude this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and throw me a big old thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Comment down below how you like to take care of your well-being. I'm very curious to know. Make sure those post notifications are turned on so you guys know exactly when I post my videos. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram because when I am not here, I am over there. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!